Hello, all Havoc here. All right, so in today's episode, I'd like to uh, get some more work done on our CV. Um, just want to try to plug out, keep plugging away on it. Uh, it's part of the thing about building it in survival is it doesn't just happen overnight. So, so um, something I thought about in between episodes was uh, maybe we're doing this sloped bit all wrong. You can dock. Okay, good. Thank you. Because in case we need to want to lift off, we can't. Um, we're doing the sloped bit all wrong. Uh, I'm almost confident that we can do a one by one. Why don't we use these? So if we need a ramp, we can extend a ramp and walk up into it. I think that's how I want to do it. So um, let's go ahead and go in here. It's the wrong kind of ramp. So let's go to the base. Blocks, comisk. That's uh, straight. We need a 45. I think we only had the three. And that's going to be our CV. So that's not going to work. So, oh, hey, I know how to do this. Come down here. Oh, base. Devices. Advanced constructor. Capital vessel, thingies at work, and make me one of those. I just, verification. I want to make sure. Um, where is it? Come on, should have been right there. Cause items. Oh no, it's not. It's not in this. Cause we just built it. Way to go, havoc. Okay, so one by one, three by one. Okay, perfect. See, perfect. And then that is how many wide? It's five wide. So we put it in the middle and then put two one bys on the ends outsides. So uh, let's get to this end. Yeah, we'll do it over here. So do it like that. And then if we don't want to ramp, close it up. It's out of the way. Thought about that after the end of the recording yesterday. So um, it's like, wait a minute, there's an easier way. Because I don't, I don't want something intruding in here. I don't. Uh, that's why I almost didn't do this, is because I was thinking that this was going to be in the way. Kind of is. I mean, this is convenient, but. Uh, the ability to bring ships up and down this ramp is going to be pretty solid. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. So, yeah, this is this is kind of kind of cool. Kind of a fan. All right. I do want to make sure I put a button, I guess. Are there buttons? Oh, there's levers, isn't there? I I don't think I've used them. I don't think I've used a single one. So, do we collect any? We should have by now, right? Oh yeah, here we go, 13 of them. So yeah. So the gap is over here, so that's where we're gonna put it, where that gap was. And we'll put it here. Like so. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this, guys. I think it's going to fall under a signal logic, and if so, uh, it's, this is going to get rough because I've not done any of this. So it's active, show on HUD. It's going to. Oh, no. Okay, auto group, first and foremost. 
Um, signals and sensors ungrouped. Can I rename you now? Main, rear. Uh, ramp. Sure, we'll go with that. All right, so signal logic. Uh, doors. Those are all those doors. Ramps. Okay, so here, hold on, we need to go back to main. Or devices, sorry. Rear, main, ramp, so they, they match, right? Okay, signal logic. Uh, I want to go to the lever. Talk, no. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, set, reset. Inverter? No. I need to watch a tutorial on how to do this because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, rear main ramp. Open and close. On signal one. Follow. Oh, I think, okay. I think I got it. Okay, so on, off. Right? Follow. Add circuit. Rear main, signal one. It's going to be signal two now. Okay. It, it almost did. Okay, so... I, it, so we set this up, and then we tell this stuff to follow this. So... Um, Okay, so we're getting it to move, so that's the right idea. All right, so we need it to do... What do we want it to do? We need it to f turn on and off, right? That's what we want it to do. Oh, yeah, we're on the, the switch. Um, toggle? Okay, let's try this. Again, I've never done this before, guys, so. Do we just run out? No, we didn't run out of power. I think we just set, hold on. You don't get a signal. I think I just broke it. <laughs> I just broke it. Uh, devices. Activate it. Uh, that was a problem. I think we had the switch right, but we broke it. We broke it by turning it off. Okay, signal logic. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, let's do a toggle. On, off. Right? Add circuit. Let's try that. All right. And then we go to ramp. And now we switch this to signal four. Okay. No? <laughs> okay, so we come back to here. Let's put this to zero. I think this needs to be an or. Nope, no, that's not working. Uh, two or. Follow? Add circuit. Get rid of this one. Come over here, switch you to signal five because signal four doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing. Or yelling at the screen. That makes me feel better too. Wait, you don't. 
You don't get your own logic. I just deleted the logic from here. That's great. Okay, so inverter. Let's try that. Um, that's a toggle. Add circuit. Sure, let's try that. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to tell you to follow signal six. Yep. Okay. So Havoc needs to uh, take a wiring course in uh, signals for Imperium Galactic Survival. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to be doing today. All right, so let's go ahead and close this up here real quick. I want to fix this. We talked about in uh, a couple episodes ago that I wanted how I wanted this to look, and right now it doesn't look like that, and I want to get that fixed. So let's go ahead and go. Oh, actually, hold on. I can set there. So F four. Um, we need some composite. There we go. And now we need to put it onto 90 degree bendy bits. This one. Perfect. Like it. Let's go ahead and go get the other side. Donk. There's a wall there, Havoc. All right. Whoa, hey. I placed that. All right, so yeah, when I was, after I recorded uh, last episode, I was really trying to figure out how to change this because this doesn't work. I mean, it's not going to work on high gravity, which we're not supposed to be there, but I'm trying to plan ahead and I don't want things in protruding. So I was literally trying to think about how I can change this entire, this entire section. These are going to go away. Um, it's not needed because we have those those right there so um these are going to go away and yeah well we'll figure something out these not needed no more super stoked so i need to make a bunch of ramps so that's going to have to come up here probably the next episode uh let's continue fixing what we got going here i hope that orange is still in here yeah it's this one and then I think we're using that, right? Why does that not look right? That's not the right one, and then uh, this one. That's the right one right there. Okay. And some orange on that. Boom. like it looks fantastic i really like how the orange looks and we need to get some more going i'm gonna do more piping like all over the ship like all over the ship like on the outsides and i don't want it to be smooth hauled uh, i want it to i want it to be greebled out right now i'm just trying to get the basic done like the actual just basic shape so Yeah, that's, that's going to be impossible on a high-G planet. It's kind of sketchy, too, because it almost hits us with the door. So, all right. Uh, we're making progress. Um, trying to figure out how to light this thing, though. Because lights are not... That's what I'm looking for. They're not very um, efficient. Uh, their their settings are very very finicky. There's times where it's like a half a setting is fine, but you can only go three kind of thing. So uh, let's go to where's our bit? Are we out of range? This is why I added that second wireless. There we go. Yeah, we're out of range. 
Um, let's go to base blocks. Macro lights havoc. Ah, uh, flares are super inefficient too. Um, these are CV spotlights and lights. All right, so got these guys. Uh, I really don't like any of the options as far as how they look. And there it is. It didn't show up there the first time. Um, devices. So like intensity, there's no half an interval. Say five and 10 meter range. Uh, I mean, I don't have a choice. That's, <laughs> that's it. Uh, spotlight mode. I don't. Okay. So it's, yeah, that's not what we want. We want floodlight. That's just spot angle. That's kind of nice. That doesn't matter if it's not in spotlight mode. So great. All right. So that guy's sticking out 10 meters. That's not enough. So he's going to go 20 meters. Intensity comes down to two, I guess. And that's that. So if I want to put another one over here. We will have to match them up like one for one and then the intensity is probably going to bring us to about here in distance. I have no idea how far that actually works out to be. Let's do an auto sort so we can group them all the same. So that's 220. Uh, well, that's pretty much it, so. Two, twenty, and apply to group. Okay. I'm just wondering how much of a black hole we'll have right here in the middle. I don't want to put lights down the middle. I shouldn't have to. But if I put lights down the middle, they're not going to spread far enough to the sides without protruding down through to the next deck, which they probably already are. Yeah, see? They're shining through. I guess this is the the struggles of building a large ship like this. Well, a large compartment ship like this, I should say. Because built, that's a great elevator. Because uh, building large ships isn't a problem, it's building large compartments like this as being a problem. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to play with this and see that's how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight blocks apart. Uh, spotlights are literally for focused beamed light out the front of the ship, so we're not going to use those. Let's see. Well, actually, hold on. Hold the phone. What if we do this? I just want to try something here real quick. I uh, want like that, like that. 
I think like that. Yep. That's not too bad. What did I just get radiation from? Oh, <laughs> the bank of thrusters I just walked underneath. All right, so. Uh, no configuration. Real? Really? Uh, that. I don't. I don't get it. You can adjust the angle of this spotlight, but you can't adjust the angle of this one. That sums that up. No oh, LOD on that is pretty harsh. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be eight. Well, it's eight in between, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in between. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight nine that's actually a pretty good distance away from the elevator too I like it one two three four five six seven eight nine yep that's gonna work two three four five six. All right, we'll just leave them like that. Um, we're gonna have to be doing this kind of shenanigans the entire ship. Like, really? I was writing the door for crying out loud. The door is gonna hurt me, huh? Uh, so we'll do like probably small lights right here. So let's try this out, seven. Like these little corner lights. Yeah. Where these are. I'll turn these down. A lot. There we go. Yeah, we'll turn these down a bit so they're not excruciatingly blinding. Um, let's get away from the radioactive bits. All right, so this one is going to be, we need to start grouping is what it comes down to. Um, strip light corner. Okay, so we can auto group this time. It's gonna put them all into one. Yep. And then, so we need to make a new group. Uh, lights. Engine room. Okay. And so then we're just going to take this guy and add to group. Say okay. Can we shift click? Oh, we can't shift click. Please, mod author, fix that. Can we arrow? Okay, we can arrow up. That's faster, kind of. Or hotkey this, maybe? Uh, shift clicking is the best option. <laughs> Please let me shift click all that. Uh, okay, so here's lights for our engine room. Uh, alphabetical order, so we're gonna 
name them accordingly. So let's change, can we change this? Rename group, okay. So it matches. All right, so lights in here, we can turn those down. Apply to group. Oh wait, lights in engine room. Come down. Actually, leave them at two, drop the range. Apply to group. That's better. That feels much better, all right. So then we'll probably take those lights and duplicate them to the inside and then uh, lower their intensity too. All right, we're going to wrap up the episode here. I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the channel with everything we do. And it's just fantastic having all the support you guys are bringing to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That's continuing that support and helping the channel to continue to grow. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.